Hello, this is Brendan, or Backslash. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make some stance car collage art with a few sample photos. It can be used for either posters or Instagram posts or whatever you want. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, we have Photoshop here. You're going to want this. Here's an example of one I just finished yesterday. Uh, I do these, so I do these for like commission based but I also do them just to like be creative and have fun and I post them on my backslash page. But yeah, here's one of a Mustang I shot down in uh, Slim Enough Columbus last weekend. And so I just wanted to make something. So here's an example. So one of my buddies sent me four raw images that he took down at that trip also, Slim Enough, Ohio. This is from Metro Detroit Media and the car is Miss Mackenzie 37. So I'm gonna be working with four photos. Hello. My sister just made me a bowl of miso soup. Sorry for the intermission. All right, so we have our images. Here are my four images. I have them right here. Once again, from Metro Detroit Media, and uh, this is Miss Mackenzie 37's car. So I'm gonna open a new, I'm gonna open a new document, 3000 pixels wide by 3750. That's what I always go for. I mean, it's high enough resolution to get all the details you want. Um, and then it's a four by five ratio, which is like the max vertical ratio for a post on Instagram. So I'm going to control A, control C to select this whole picture and copy it and then paste it over here. And then I basically start to, let me move this over so you can see it better. I basically start to get as much of the car in here as I can. Yeah, the car looks about right there. I mean, the diffuser is kind of sticking out a little more. But I think for now, I think that looks fine. So we're gonna start with that. And then um, before we paste in any other images, I'm just gonna start by doing some of the tedious parts, which is cutting out the car. So I go to my pen tool and then I'm like clicking to put points and then I'm like holding down if you hold down, you can like adjust the points to add like smoother angles. So I'm basically just gonna do like a rough outline of the entire car, which depending on the detail you wanna go for, I usually do for every picture, but we will get there as the time comes. So, you want these edges to be as good as you can get them, but I wouldn't like worry about them too much because you need to go back and like clean them up afterwards anyways, because there will be little bits that against like a, like a simple color background, it'll just like, you can tell that it was cut out. So you need to kind of blend it with whatever you're matching it with. Uh, but yeah, we will do that after. So I'm probably gonna skip ahead right about now. Something also to note here is that you wanna get more, if anything, if you're gonna be like uh, messy with your like outlines, you wanna have more of the car than less of the car every time because you can always you can always like mask off extra parts but if you're like further in the process it can be harder to add extra parts so just something to mention all right so yeah i just finished the outline so i have the pen around it um, something else to like note is that the higher quality image you have, the better, because if you have like, if it's blurrier than this, like you will end up with some 
like some weird cuts where you don't know you can't tell where like the car ends and where the sky begins kind of thing but yeah so we have the outline i'm gonna control enter that turns the pen the selection into um it, a selection right so you have the the selection lines around it control j that makes another copy here right so if I get rid of the background, we have this car by itself. Okay. So now this will be like on the top. So now we can go back to one of these. Like I already have a vision for how I'm gonna like lay out this image. So again, control A, control C, copy it. Click under here, paste, and then boom. We have it laid out under here. So now I'm gonna size it. I want it to take up a lot of space because I want it to be prominent for the image. Um, like that looks pretty good. I might even go bigger. Yeah, I might even go bigger, honestly. It's giving off a very cool look so far though. Yeah, I'm gonna do something like that, I think. So now we're going to, we're selected on the background right here. We're going to go down and click this. This is the mask. Um, so now it creates this mask. So we're going to go to brush. And when you're on a mask, you can only use left, like uh, black or white on the left over here. So white is like showing the image in the mask if you're selected on it and black if i press x is like getting rid of it and going to the like the background right do you see that so control z to undo obviously but basically like what i'm going to do for that is make it like a soft brush right here you change the hardness all the way down and i'm just going to brush out some of this so that it gets the it gets the ground from the previous image, but everything else is the other image. So see, I mean like right here, it, it got some of the car that was next to it. So I'm going to go to white again and just kind of do clean that up. It depends all like on what you want, you know? So we've got this so far. It honestly looks really good already. I mean, I'm, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of gives me like a halo vibe so far um i don't even know how much i want to add to this to be honest like some of them i go really crazy with it but then others it just like simple is better uh but let's see where we can go so yeah i'm gonna turn off this layer just for a second so i can see the outer the outlines of this car or this image so i'm gonna go press p get back to my pen tool and I'm going to do another cutout of this car. All right. So I've got this outline, right? Once we click out here, we can just come back around and connect down here. So we got this one, control enter, control J, copied. Turn this layer back on. So now between layer three and four right here, I can do a new layer. And now I figure out how I wanna edit this more. So I don't know if I wanna use this image. It might overcomplicate things. This could be useful. This is a good one just the side view, but let's see how complicated it gets. So I control V to paste it. Let's see. So far it looks like a bit too much, but I mean, let me see. I might fit it in somewhere like there just for now. It's kind of keeping the image dark and that's something that I don't know how I feel about yet because I like this contrast of like the road at the bottom with the like light at the top even though it's like a cloudy sky. I like how it looks. So here's one thing. 
I can go down to these blending modes right here and with my arrows just kind of go through them and it'll like blend that image in different ways to match what's behind it so eh. honestly that none of these look great so far yeah these were all kind of ass damn yeah so okay I'm gonna leave that like that but I'm gonna start a new layer and so I have these I'm just gonna mess around with some brushes right so there's a lot of brush packs you can buy um, if you go like down here and go to get more brushes like Adobe has their own spots for brushes a lot of these are from Envato elements too um, let's see organic noise I haven't used this one before so yeah I don't know might be able to do something with this but I don't know it's on black right now um, let's see I was feeling like something lightning related on this even maybe uh, so let's see I don't know so far that just looks like it looks like too much I'm gonna make another layer and I'm gonna put it between the I'm gonna put it between this car and the front car. This is gonna be layer seven. And so I'm gonna make it white. I'm gonna try to put some like lightning into the wheel. Like into the wheel well kind of thing. The key to this is really just like messing around until you get something you like. I like kind of how that's going. Let me see. I'm going to mask it actually and I'm going to go back to like a soft brush. And I'm just going to try to keep it in the barrel or in the lip of the wheel. Even on this side too. Yeah, I think that gives it an interesting effect. So that looks actually pretty good. I think I'm also going to go and do another layer, start a new layer, put it under. I'm going to do some sort of clouds. I mean, this is one of my go-to moves this thunderstorm cloud but I don't know where to put it because I want it to look right um, yeah I want it to look right and so that takes some like trial and error but it also is color schemes like I don't know if I press I I can pick like one of these one of these colors coming off the car that could be I'm gonna start a new layer because the white with the Millennium Jade might look even might look crazy too let's see you can there's so much creativity that can come from it because you can change the blending modes you can mess around with all sorts of brushes, like there's so many options. So I actually think this linear dodge, the add, I think that looks cool. I just don't, I just don't like how it's laid. So, um, I do kind of like that. I'm gonna, oh, damn, look at that. Look at that. Sharp line right there. Alright, I'm just gonna delete this. And I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna start another layer. A new one. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna change it to a linear add already. These clouds, they can be random. So, like, you sometimes you gotta, like, place them. 
before they'll change direction. Um, I like that. It kind of gets rid of the diffuser look, but I like how it's like, I like what it's adding to the photo. That's too much. That could be something. Do I have anything? No. Yeah, so layer six is still blank. So see that? Now that I'm still selected on the color of the car, but as like clouds for behind it, right? So like, look at that. Like it looks kind of like a dust storm there. I don't know how I feel about, about this right part. Like I said, like so much of this is just like messing around till you get what you want. It's it's part of the creative process. <laughs> Moved that over there. I'm going to try some lightning again maybe. No, but we need this white. The white, ooh, okay, okay. The white with inside the sand storm looking cloud is interesting. I kind of like that. I mean, if you just, some of this process is hard because you see so many different like small changes that it's hard to tell what it actually looks like. So if you like close your eyes and then you look at it like, oh, I'm looking at it for the first time again, you can kind of get a better view of like what it actually looks like. Maybe some little smaller ones. I don't know, I like how good quality, I like how good quality everything looks. It looks clean and I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to mask this cloud actually. And I can use the lightning brush up here to like make it come through the cloud. Damn, that one, one of them looked real good right there. And I undid it like I like that look but I think I did it too much see that's the problem and the thing is is you can even I'm gonna duplicate this layer and then hide the previous one just so I have like, just so it like stays, you know? But I can go up filter liquify and I can kind of like mess with the clouds and like where they're going. Uh, you can change the settings, but. Let's see. It looks interesting. I mean, I can't lie, it does look interesting. But <laughs> does it look good? Control T, that's the hotkey to transform. I think I'm if I if I go this route I'm gonna Oh no. Oh, um, wait, what? Let's see. Okay. I delete the mask. Yeah, I was saying if I go this route uh, with the warped clouds, I didn't want the lightning to be like in it, in it. So let's see.
I think another one of these could, another cloud liquefied could look pretty good behind everything. Um, let me get back to that color. All right, so I got that there. I'm gonna do white over it. I'm gonna move it. It's kind of hard to see right now, but I'm just kind of using it for that. Like it, it hasn't been edited yet. Once it gets swirled around, things will look right or better. I don't know about right. All right, let's see. Ooh, I kind of like that. I don't usually, interesting. I don't usually use dark tones on the sky like that, but it actually looks pretty crazy. Let's see. I'm going to go edit, transform, warp. I'm going to see. I'm going to lower this a bit. Just because I don't want it to be too much. But I also kind of want it to match right there. Enter. I think that looks pretty good right now. But the lightning up here is starting to look kind of odd now. Let's see what it looks like without the lightning. Let's see what it looks like without this. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna mask this Oop. and kind of mess with it there to add some more like whites in there. I'm gonna start a new layer just to get something going. Let's see. Brush rough. How does this look? Hmm. I like how clean it looks down here. So trying to figure out where to go here but we i realized we have this layer we have that wheel image from before that i never used so when i turn it on it actually looks very cool i do like that a lot it, it contrasts well with a lot of this and i think it looks cool so i mean let's see change it through the blending modes it looks good where it's at and I think I'm going to control J to duplicate the layer and I'm going to bring one above the clouds here and then I'm going to change this one to blend a certain way. But let's see how we want to do that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's really interesting. I think I'm going to mask it and I'm going to invert it by control I. So now it's an all black mask. So now I can use any of my brushes to give it a certain look and that actually looks crazy. Let's see. I really like how that looks. 
Yeah, I really, I really do like how that looks right there. I might even try to filter, liquefy. I think I might try to bring the smoke up a little more. I just, I think it might look better higher. Let's see. Uh, too much. Maybe duplicate it. Try it again. Just so we can revert back if I want to. That's interesting. Let's see, make it smaller. It's an interesting look. Don't know how I feel about it, but it looks interesting. Get rid of the other one. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I think that looks really cool. It's just so hard to tell. When you're messing around with it for so long, it can be hard to tell if it looks good or not. I think that looks pretty sick. The background looks beautiful. The way this comes in and out in contrast with the colors, with the colors of the car, with the wheel close up, I think that looks cool. I like how this is coming up. I like how this is wrapping around the wheel. I like the little bits of lightning and how it's like not too much. I like how clean this is. So it's like the craziness is behind the car. Let's see, maybe that lightning's not, nah, that lightning's too much. I'm gonna see, maybe I can add a little bit extra lightning. Sounds stupid to say because I know it's probably not the move. Here's just kind of like a cloud to add some extra effects. Like some, some like s soft minor glow. Just like minor things. Minor things that touch it up. I'm gonna start a new layer again. This is it. This is interesting. This is kind of like, these are like raindrops. This came in that lightning pack too. I actually think that looks good. That looks good. I don't want, again, I don't want it to be like too much, but I think that looks pretty crazy. New layer again. It's all about these tools. Like, you know, you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta practice the skills, the cutouts. You have to get the resources, like the little lightning brushes. I mean, that's just something that I like to mess around with a lot, but once you get the, I'm gonna, does my E for eraser change it to soft so I can just kind of like blend some of the spots better. But once you get the hang of things and the eye for things, I think that I think that you can really make things look pretty crazy. Yeah, so I think that looks I think that looks pretty good. I think that can be our finished image, you know. If you want to add a watermark, you can. I got one of my logos. Gonna. Eh? No. Put it above everything. Turn it down.
There we go. Just to show that the backslash edit. And there we go. Nice finished edit, ready for Instagram, ready for a poster. You know, four by five aspect ratio that can be easily put on a 16 by 20 inch poster. It's right where I want it. Simple, abstract, complex. Colors match well. The greens and the browns, the whites and the blacks. It looks good. If you want to check out more, I do make these on my website directly on backslashstreetwear.com. So, yeah, if you go to my website, backslashstreetwear.com, it'll be a link in the bio. I make, um, I have a lot of merch and stuff if you want to check it out too, metal wheel signs. But also, I do custom collage art of your car, any car. So, if you click here, I have, I have examples of my work. And you can upload your images directly here, anywhere from two to 10 images. And I have uh, packs of one, packs of two, and packs of three. And when you're in the cart, you can add special notes if you want certain styles even. And then I just kind of uh, work with you from there. They get sent directly to your email. And yeah. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.